So the male performance of the year, uh, you know, not coincidentally, happened at the same race, except this was a very different race in the men's division. This had one of the closest finishes ever. Uh, you know, guys jockeying for position at that buoy, you know, one little bobble on the turn there making the difference, catching that one wave making the difference after a long, long, grueling race. But it wasn't just the thrilling finish, it was the kind of finish that sometimes is, is the hardest. It's not easy being a legend when you're, uh, you know, in any sport. I mean, even if you're a young legend, you've got the young guys looking at you, looking at your record, looking at your other victories, and they've got something to shoot for. You know, they're, 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 they're aiming at your back, and all you want to do is you just want to try to stay ahead of that pack, and sometimes that's the hardest thing. And that's why um, the victory last year for Danny Ching, we were giving the top performance of the year, because it was really, it, it, it showed that determination that even in the face of those challenges, because, you know, the, the young guys coming up, they've got a long road ahead of them, but that finish was so exciting that we gave Danny the top performance of the year. He couldn't be here tonight, but he did tape us a message here, and we're going to see that in just a second. Uh, that's Danny Ching, and Danny has gone from about sixth place to second place on the turn. So I couldn't be there tonight. Uh, thank you, SUP Magazine, for this incredible award and honor. I really appreciate it. Uh, male performance of the year for the Battle of the Paddle is uh, pretty awesome. The, the race was incredible, and if you got a chance to see it last year, it was kind of a big deal for me. A lot of hard work went into that, a little bit of luck, and uh, you, you got to check it out. Thank you again. I really appreciate it.